So my second conditioner is my African Pride. You can't even see it. <laughs> my second conditioner is my African. Come on, really? Just a touch of your love is enough to knock me off of my feet. Oh, just a touch of your love. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my natural hair products, the ones that I like to use a lot. I have quite a bit of things here like you can see. So um, I'm not even going to talk too much. I just want to get straight into this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video and check out all my other natural hair videos as I've been doing a lot lately. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm going to start off with conditioners because I have three of them. Is it three? Yeah, I have three conditioners to show you. So my first one is my Aussie Moist. This is my deep conditioner that I love to use um, in my wash routine. I use this product in my deep conditioner and I mix it in with like a bunch of other things. So I definitely recommend this. It cost me $3 at the Dollar General um, around here. And I've had this for a while. Like it's pretty tiny, but they got a lot of products stored in here. So I definitely recommend this. So my second conditioner is my African Pride, you can't even see it. <laughs> my second conditioner is my African, come on, really, Isle of Miracle leave-in conditioner. And I use this all the time on my hairstyles when I do my bantu knots, um, when I'm doing my wash and goes, pretty much any um, natural hairstyle I do. Even when I'm blow drying my hair, I'll use this. And it leaves my hair really, really soft and I love to use this because it smells amazing. And I've had it for a while and I still have a, like almost to the top so definitely you get your money's worth. So the last conditioner is my Tresemme Moisture Rich, Moisture Rich for dry damaged hair conditioner and I use this a lot as well. It was in my other natural hair video, my wash day routine and this also has an amazing smell. This also cost me $3 and look, I mean this is bigger than like my head. Like, you get a lot of product for three dollars so also if you are spending a lot of money on natural hair products I recommend you going to your Dollar General or your Family Dollar because they have all the same products but like for a lot cheaper so instead of going to like Target or even like Sally's I recommend going there so the next category are styling products and the first one is good old Miss Jessie's this is Miss Jessie's jelly soft curls it says it's the best done super soft gel and I believe so it has like a really sweet smell it smells like a candy store is what I compare it to but there's like an ingredient in here that I can't figure out what that smell is but it smells heavenly like I put this in my hair I'll even do like my edges with it when I'm doing my wash and goes and y'all come on and this doesn't make my hair crunchy like sometimes I'll use my eco style gel and it kind of makes it feel a little crunchy but this one this is the little right here so my next styling product is my Motions. This is the Style and Create Foam Styling Lotion with macadamia and almond oils. And I'm down to the bottom because I use this all the time, like at least twice a week with my Bantu knots. And if you guys want me to do um, a Bantu knot tutorial, like I already did the high puff tutorial, you guys can see that, but if you want me to do like a Bantu knot out tutorial, just let me know. Um, this is the main ingredient in that ingredient. This is the main product that I use in that. So my last styling product is my Kinky Curly um, Original Curling Custard. And also this one smells like marshmallows. I don't know why, like, for some reason companies like to make their stuff smell like candy and it makes it addicting, which is why people probably use it a lot. And I also use this with my wash and goes. And I will be doing a wash and go um, routine very, very soon. I am not good with wash and go, so I'm trying to figure out like a method to do, which is why I haven't done a video yet. So hopefully I figure out what that is and then I'll be able to film for you guys and show you guys that. So here are my two favorite shampoos. This is the motion oh bro. This is the lotion. This is the motions um Nourish and Care Lavish Shampoo. And this is pretty much almost done. I need to get some more. And it goes goes along with the foam wrap lotion. So if I'm now I'm doing my bantu knots, I'll use that and this together just so that I don't mix the products up and because you never know it could be flaky or something and then my second favorite is the Suave Professionals Rosemary Mint shampoo and I love this shampoo because it makes my scalp tingle because it has the mint in it so it kind of helps with like dandruff and itching and just kind of makes it a little bit more refreshing so now I have two oils to show you guys and one is a sheen and one is like a regular oil so the first one is my dark and lovely all natural sheen sealing nectar and this has mango oil and bamboo milk in it so it smells amazing like it smells like straight up mangoes like oh my gosh I love using this um 
when I'm doing Bantu knots and I just spray it in there once I'm done, once it's in the puff or however I style it. And whoa, I got yellow. <laughs> but it makes my hair smell really good. And also, if I'm doing a wash and go and my wash and go kind of looks kind of dry and old, I'll spray this in there or use some coconut oil to moisturize. So my next oil, this is what I was talking about that stinks. Y'all know about this Jamaican black castor, huh? Literally, I think it smells like fried rice and like old, old fried rice. Like, I don't like the smell of this. I've kind of gotten used to it, but when I first started using it, why am I saying, okay, I gotta fix this. But when I first started using it, it was so bad. Like, I literally had to use this and then spray the sheen on top so that I couldn't smell this as um, strong as it is because this stuff does not smell good. If you guys haven't smelled any, I don't suggest it. But this right here, this is really the goat. Like, this will get you your edges back. This will help thicken your hair and grow your hair and help, like, stimulate growth in your hair because I don't know what this is, but this stuff works. So I have two gels to show you. The first one is my Eco Styler Gel and this could have been with my styling products but I kind of use this on my edges too. So this is the Eco Styler Gel and this is the Olive Oil Max Hold 10. I use this all the time. I use this to do my edges. Um, I use this in my high puff tutorial to kind of slip down my baby hairs and my edges and everything. I'm going to the beauty supply store sometime this week because I need to get like more products. I need to get um, some perm rods. And I need to get some more black castor oil and I need to get some more gel because anyway, I'm almost out. So, if you guys have tried out that um, gel, leave it down below. Probably by the time I upload this, I'll have already tried it. So, for my edge control, this is literally the only edge control I use. It's the Argan Oil Cream of Nature Perfect Edges. And this stuff smells so good. And fun fact, my mom has the shampoo, conditioner, and leave-in conditioner for this, and I don't really like it. It's just because I'm so used to smelling this as an um, edge control, so when I smell other things that smell like it, like the all the other products on the line, it just makes me feel like I'm putting edge control like in my hair, and it doesn't do well with me for some reason. Like I like the smell of the edge control, but the other ones kind of... It doesn't work for me. But lastly, I just have a brush for you guys. And this is my version of a Denman brush because I had one. And I don't know where it is. But I use this um, to kind of define my curls. And if I do a wash and go video, I guess you guys will see me using most of these products. Not most, but like some of these products. Um, so yeah. But I like this because it's, it's not like too big. So it's not going to like tangle or break off my hair. And I, it's just very gentle because it has these little balls on the end as well. So yeah, so that is all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed seeing my favorite natural hair products. If you guys have your own natural hair products that you guys like to use, comment them down below because I love trying new things and also, you know, we're a family so you gotta help me out. <laughs> gotta help your sister out. But yeah, that's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure you thumbs this video up and turn on my post notifications because like I said, I'll be posting Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of every week. So. Make sure you don't miss out on any videos and also check out all my natural hair videos. I'll have them up here in the cards. You can just click right there and it'll take you straight to it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I didn't use any bobby pins this time because I didn't need them. But this is the first one. Sometimes I just...